Hello and welcome to this video about uh, setting up a mining colony using the advanced mining machine um, as well as the geothermal power. This was made possible recently by a new patch called the Icarus Evolution in Dyson Sphere program and um, it added lots of things among them um, this combination and the reason it's so powerful is because the my, uh, the geothermal power is basically about as strong as a little bit stronger than the thermal power plant but it doesn't require any inputs right um, and then the advanced mining machine is actually really easy to put down um, and it also produces a lot more material than the um, just standard mining machine so the idea is going to be that we go to a lava planet right where we solve the power problem using geothermal power um, and then we just put in a few interstellar transportation stations that locally demand material from these advanced mining machines and we'll go around and just put down all of the advanced mining machines that we want um, and yeah we should have a mining colony established in no time so that's going to be the aim now to be able to do this, I think we will need lots of geothermal power because they only produce 2.6 uh, megawatts and you can see that you know this requires quite a bit of stuff to charge. Um, now we're not going to be sending interstellar, um, we just need to be able to do logistics drones, uh, but still it's going to need a decent number, maybe 10 of these each to charge these things. Um, and then each one of these miners also consumes about three megawatts and we're going to want to sort of boost them to three times they're probably going to be consuming three uh, nine or ten megawatts um, so we're going to be needing um, a few of these per mining um, station uh, per mi advanced mining what are they called advanced mining machine right so that's the geothermal power we'll of course need a whole bunch of tesla towers to connect a bunch of stuff together um, then we will need a bunch of these interstellar logistics stations um, as a sort of export hub, right? We'll get the materials into it and then other planets will be able to come and request the material. We're not going to be actually providing that material out. Um, and then we need a lot of drones to go around and collect all of the um, newly mined material from the various um, sources and deliver it. Um, and then we should be good. We don't need belts really because we're going to be using these drones. We don't need, uh, we don't really need to bring these artificial stars. We don't need a lot of other stuff. So, yeah. So after you've collected all of that material, and I recommend, of course, that you put together some production lines that produce those buildings, which we've done here. What we are going to do, this was actually somewhat difficult to do, to find a uh, system that we hadn't. <laughs> already colonized but we're going to go to beta virgins here which is a lava planet which i don't know how many resources it has but it should be pretty good and then it has lava for our geothermal power so we're going to be going to do that um, now let's make sure that we have a bunch of power available so we'll go on that we also have plenty of these warpers available so we should be fine so let's make our way over there and um, once I'm there, um, I'll check in with you again. Okay, we have made it here. So this planet has lots of iron ore, lots of copper, lots of titanium. So that's what we're going to be focusing on here um, and seeing how effectively we can actually make use of that using this technique. Um, and then we also need to put down these um, geothermal power, power plants here. So we'll try and you know, make the best use of the area that we have. You can also hear some of the new music that they've added, which is quite, which is really great. Okay, let's... So yeah, we're going to continue to put down a bunch of these geothermal power plants, um, and then I'll check back in with you once we've done that and we have a bit of an idea of how much power we're actually able to generate here. Okay, so we have about 208 um, geothermal power available now, which covers sort of, you know, you can see down here, 
tell us about this much of the planet. Um, the lure, of course, of this kind of technique is that, you know, you don't really need a lot of stuff for this, right? Um, you don't need to, uh, to find a way to generate power here. You just sort of use these geothermal powers and, um, uh, you know, you don't have to bring anything here. It just sort of works, right? Um, and then, of course, you also don't need, like, a lot of... You don't need any material delivered to here um, to actually make this happen. You can just get your ships to pick up the materials that you actually want from here. Um, so that's why this technique is potentially really powerful. So what we're going to do is... Um, so the next step is to actually put down a few of these transportation hubs, right? So we'll put in... Um, three because we want to export sort of three items from here, right? Um, now, you don't need to charge these at a massive rate because all you really need is, um, you know, for the drones here to be productive. So about 30 megawatts is probably fine. Um, actually, what I'm interested in seeing is Let's see what kind of rates these normally charge at, at most. Like 60 megawatts, right? So, oops. So let's, let's set these to 60 megawatts as well. Um, and then they should be fine. Oops. Uh, what are they? Transportation range. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, we want them to carry like a full load of material um, rather than go out and you know waste their time all right so yeah we'll be charging at about 60 megawatts so what you can see here is that you know we have about 50 or so megawatts to spare which is not a lot so we probably will need to actually put down um, more, mat more material and then uh, more sort of charging here and then what we're going to do is essentially um, get one of these dedicated to each of the material that we're going to be exporting from here. Um, so I need to set that to local demand, right? And then the next step, okay, there's a titanium vein right here. What we're going to do, get one of these put it down. I'm not even going to worry about some of those things not being covered. It really doesn't matter. Um, set this to 100% and that's it. Voila! It's working. Don't have to do anything else. <laughs> and you know this is producing 12,600 materials per minute, which is amazing. Like, really amazing. And um, this should start to be picked up at some point when I need it more of it and you can see that this is easily uh, maintaining the um, you know the charge on these so yeah I mean this is the basic setup and then the next step is to just find more of these so there's a there's a vein over here so let's go for this give it power um, set it to 300% and then the drones are going to come here and collect the material uh, and make it available for export. Um, now, nothing has come here and picked this up yet. Let's see if we get any demand for this iron ore. Um, maybe at some point we will, but we have a pretty saturated... Um, if you look at this, we have a lot of iron ore production and there's a lot more sort of production that's available then is actually being demanded and the same for titanium ore but um, yeah anyway this is the basic idea and then we just fly around and you know connect up more and more and more of these and we should be able to add quite a bit to our production capacity here Great. So, just these two machines alone 
you know, have added almost 20,000 to our production capacity of iron ore. It used to take me like an hour or two hours to, you know, put this kind of a thing together. Um, okay, yeah, it's not really worth it to put like a second one there. Um, so it is certainly a lot easier than it used to be. Uh, okay, I also should you know, make it possible for these guys here. Let's see. Yeah, so we're still like at very high satisfaction levels here. Um, of course, you know, if you know the drones start flying and so on, we might need to put down a lot more of the um, geothermal power. But um, yeah, this is the basic principle. And you know, once you have the geothermal unlocked and you have these advanced mining machines unlocked. Um, it's going to be like super easy to tap all of the resources on this planet. You know, if, probably from this planet alone, we could get like 200,000 or so iron ore, 100,000 copper ore, um, 100,000 titanium ore, and so on. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so that's the idea behind putting together a mining colony here using geothermal power and um, advanced mining machines and these interstellar transportation. Um, actually, let's just connect the copper as well, just for completeness sake here. All right. Um, of course, want to be sort of careful in capturing as much of it as possible. For some reason, that didn't go in. So yeah, that's the principle of it. So I think it works pretty well. I'm looking forward to sort of putting this together and relying on it um, for some of our production lines. This is going to be a pretty good, pretty good view. So um, yeah, that for the purpose of this video, that's it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.